How you know your intake manifold gasket is bad? The first sign of a bad intake manifold gasket is going to be hissing noise. So basically when you hear a hissing noise, that's going to cause a vacuum leak. The intake manifold gasket is wedged between the cylinder head and the, um, the intake manifold mating surface. So basically when the intake manifold gasket is bad, it's going to cause a vacuum leak. Therefore, you're going to hear that hissing noise. So when you have a bad intake manifold gasket, we all know that's going to cause a vacuum leak. So when you have a vacuum leak, it's going to cause all sorts of engine performance issue and idle issue. The most common problem you're going to notice is going to be stalling. So basically, if your intake manifold gasket is completely worn or ruptured, it's going to cause stalling at idle and at low speed. The next common problem is going to be hard start or no start. If your intake manifold gasket is completely worn like that or like that, it's going to cause hard start and no start. The next common problem is going to be engine misfire. If your vacuum leak is severe enough, you're going to get an engine misfire triggering P0300 code, which is random misfire. You may also get a P0301 up to P0308, basically cylinder number one to cylinder number eight. If this vacuum leak lasts long enough, you're going to notice another engine code. So basically, that's going to be P0. 171 or P0174. That's, those are basically lean codes. So the quickest way to check for a bad intake manifold gasket is number one, listen for hissing noise. Number two, if you spot the hissing noise, you can spray carburetor cleaner around the uh, intake manifold gasket area. And if you hear your RPM increases, then you found your issue. The third way you can try, you can also try to use propane and try to release a propane gas around the area. Again, if you hear a change in RPM, that could be another sign that your intake manifold gasket is bad or ruptured. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs and don't forget to give me a like.